So a bit of an update on the DJI Mavic Air situation. The new remote control arrived. And yes, it is a brand new one and it arrived in retail packaging and everything. So they've obviously got them in stock to produce and send out. So this is uh, just a bit of an update video just to let you know that I now do have the remote control um, for my lovely little Mavic Air. Very, very nice little drone. And um, I just thought I'd go through the process of repairing. So if you get a brand new remote control, how you pair it, and then obviously that people will know that as well. well. The first time you pair your remote controller up with the drone, um, it's going to say, press that um, until you hear it beep once. And then you press the button on the remote and then they pair up and that's you done. There are some accessories out there as well that suit the Mavic Air controller, which is probably more appropriate for the Mavic Air. Um, are these Wi-Fi signal booster little things that you put on top of your antenna. So you would basically just sort of like pop them on like that, slide over the top, and then point them in the direction of wherever you're flying. And that's supposed to give you a more concentrated Wi-Fi signal in that direction. Um, you know, or that direction or whatever um, to make your signal stronger for when you're flying. Now, um, I'm still suffering with really bad weather in the UK, so I've not been able to go out and fly yet outside. I've tested the controller and it all works fine indoors. Uh, but as yet, I've not been able to go out and sort of try the, the distance range and whether this actually extends the range or whatever. Um, but I'll go and try that soon and then I'll uh, report back on that accessory. Um, so just to let you know that those are out there. Um, the video description has links to go and buy them if you're interested. Now, the other one is all about um, ease of carrying the controller. Now, if you've um, been a basically a Phantom pilot, not a Phantom, but if you've been a DJI Phantom pilot or an Inspire pilot, the remote controls are much bigger and there's usually an anchor point on there where you can put a lanyard so you can sort of like have it hanging around your neck when you're not using it. Um, but there's nothing like that for this model. So what they've actually brought out is this tiny little adapter. And this little adapter plate kind of squidges in inside. So you've got your controller. That basically sits inside like that. So once you've fitted the plate in there, simply just slide your phone in like you would normally, clamp it around, and that holds it in. That's now nice and tight not going anywhere the phone's holding it in and it's clipped in and it even comes with a nice little strap as well so basically you put the strap around there put the nice strap around your neck and now you've got a way to hold your remote control um, again video description has the links to go and buy this it's a lovely little adapter plate and um, obviously it comes with this as well so that's all there and it allows you just to sort of you know hold it wherever you want to hold it and um, just kind of holding it down against yourself while you're doing other things um, and fits the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro as well. So all in all, quite a good little uh, thing and nice and cheap. So thanks for watching my video today. I'll give you an update on uh, how these other accessories and everything work out once I've started to go flying, once I don't have snow outside all the time. But until the next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video. And until the next time, take care. See you soon. Bye.